。各位觀眾，大家好，歡迎收睇今集嘅廿六分鐘見證實錄。喺本國刑事法之中，給予父母、教師或者係監護人對二至十二歲嘅孩童以合理力度嘅情況之下矯正孩子嘅行為，咁樣意味住適度嘅體罰係唔會被刑事檢控噶。不過一直以嚟亦都有團體認為呢一條法例早就應該被廢除，以尊重小朋友嘅人權。多年以嚟，係咪應該廢除呢一條法例？大家嘅意見都有好大分歧。不過，自由黨政府喺大選時承諾可能取消呢條法例，就再度引起大家一番討論。究竟支持同反對嘅意見各持乜嘢立場咧？政府又會點樣做咧？現今父母養育子女多數費盡心思，呢一場座談會就係俾父母一齊嚟了解點樣更好咁教育子女，培養親子關係。当需要管教子女嘅时候，喺目前家国嘅法例之下，父母有一定嘅权利能够给予适度嘅体罚。不过，本国系咪应该废除刑事法第四十三条，俗称体罚法？国民就意见分歧。Why would we hit our children if we want them to live in a non-violent way, in a non-violent world? Children are the only group of people. Who can be legally assaulted in this country, and that has got to end. It is appalling. But if you take it away, this is called the Penal Code of Conduct. I can't say that the parents have completely ignored their children's responsibility. 系 Jane 嘅女儿，现时大学一年级喺满地可读书。对于 Jane 嚟讲，要放手俾女儿展开自己嘅生活并唔容易，但系佢好开心见到女儿能够独立生活。睇翻女儿细个嘅照片，咁随住女儿独立，对于 Jane 嚟讲，身为父母嘅育儿之路亦都走到一个阶段啦。佢話：過去嘅育兒經驗都係正面積極噶，不過當然亦都少不免面對挑戰。It is always a challenge to、um, communicate with your child as they grow at their different ages. It's always a challenge to know what is appropriate at their age and what is not appropriate. And it's always a challenge to keep their trust. But that's so important. 佢話：父母有責任要教導孩子。因此，当孩子出现唔适当行为嘅时候，就应该要管教，以矫正孩子嘅行为。Jane 强调，佢希望孩子喺错误之中承担后果，嚟到从中学习。It was a challenge when Rebecca was、uh, in elementary school. She was quite young, and I caught her in a lie, and I knew it was a lie. And so,、uh, what? I wanted to do is to teach her consequences.、Um, so the lie had to do with school.、Uh, so I told her, and she had to tell her teacher, and she was quite upset because she wanted me to tell the teacher that she had lied. And I said, "No, you did the lie. You have to tell the teacher and take responsibility for this." And we have to discuss this with Daddy too. And she was quite upset about that because she didn't want her father to know what she had done. But I said, "You did this. There has to be a consequence. This is the consequence." And、uh, I think she learned. I think she learned something from that. 虽然每个小朋友都唔同，父母要依照孩子嘅个性以及双方之间嘅关系，令到管教嘅方式都有所唔同。但系 Jane 就话唔支持体罚呢一种嘅管教模式。Why would we hit our children if we want them to live in a non-violent way, in a non-violent world? Why would we hit them for any reason, under any circumstance, when they are very small, as you say, preschool age? Um, how are they supposed to make sense of this when the person that Says that they love them more than anyone else in the world is now 
hitting them, assaulting them. How is a child to learn anything from that except fear and confusion? 因此，當佢發現加拿大刑事法第四十三條俗稱體罰法仍然存在嘅時候，佢相當震驚。I was raised in an era where parents spanked their children or threatened to spank their children.、Um, I wasn't spanked myself, but、uh, I was threatened with it. And of course, there was physical punishment in schools when I was attending school. I think that we are much more enlightened now as a society. We know more about the effects of physical punishment on children, and the research states clearly that there are physical and emotional risks to hitting children. Do we want to take those risks? I don't think so. He said, "As parents, we have the opportunity to experience the consequences of hitting children." But he thinks the most important is that parents have compassion. I'm not saying it's easy. It's hard. It's hard when your child is doing things that、uh, you feel you need to correct or control in some way,、um, but you have to try to be as patient as possible. Take a breath, leave the room if you have to.、Uh, take some time. Put yourself in a in a timeout if you can. Look at the ceiling,、um, but don't. Um, don't give in to the anger and frustration, and let it control you, and lead to something you doing something that you're going to regret later. So, if I was going to do that, my、um, history class, we were going to. Yinshi, the girl has grown up. Jane, every week, she will have a chance to talk to her mother on Skype. Jane, every week, she will have a chance to talk to her mother on Skype. 但系 Jane 嘅育儿之路一路走落嚟，培养出嘅母女关系都相当好。I would describe our,、uh, my relationship with my daughter, and I hope she would agree, as,、uh, as a relationship of trust. And I think you have to build that trust over a child's entire life. I think a lot of that trust comes from the fact that I didn't hit her. My husband didn't hit her. Never threatened to ever hit her. I think if we had done those things, it would have broken some of that trust. Kathy Lin is a pediatrician. In the past three years, she has been pushing to improve the environment for children in a violent environment. She wants to remove the Act 43. She is more interested in stopping the practice of Corrine's Quest. Well, it's important simply because if we've got kids who are being raised in a positive environment, we're raising a whole generation of healthy children who will become healthy adults, and the country will benefit. The reality is, we have got now over 30 years of research, and all the research, no matter how big, how small, no matter what the demographics, no matter what the ages of the children, have all shown. That physical punishment of children always carries with it a risk factor. So positive parenting without hitting kids seems to be the answer. He said, "Parents teach children the culture of discipline constantly changing. Today, parents have already understood that discipline is not a safe parenting method. But the U.S. court has not followed modern developments. Violence against children should not be per- permitted under the law." And it should not be defined by the law. It should be forbidden by the law. After all, we used to have a situation where we gave the lash to prisoners, where we could hit apprentices, where we could hit servants. My goodness, we've been able to hit dogs up until recently, and now we can't hit any of those. Children are the only group of people who can be legally assaulted in this country, and that has got to end. It is appalling. 对于有人认为一旦该法例被废除，将会令到父母管教刑事化，咁 Cathy 就强调事实并非如此。There is a policy in law called de minimis, and what that means is that the Crown will not prosecute a trivial event. So if if something happens at home and you get mad at your child and you slap them on the arm, you are not going to jail. 
You might, however, be told that it would be a good idea for you to take an anger management course or take a parenting course or read a parenting book or just change your behavior. But you're not, they're not going to start running around, you know, charging every parent who touches their child. But we want to create a community and a culture in which hitting children is just something we never accept. 佢又強調，全球已經係有四十九個國家全面禁止體罰，其中包括德國、希臘、荷蘭、瑞典等國家。咁但係本國就唔係其中之一。咁根據聯合國有關中止所有對孩童體罰行動嘅進度報告顯示，全球一共有四十九個國家完全禁止體罰，一百四十九個國家尚未完全禁止。咁其中包括加拿大在内嘅九十六个国家，就尚未有清楚嘅承诺是否会进行法例改革。The reality is, Canada signed the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, and every once in a while, every number of years, the UN comes into countries who've signed on and says, "Are you complying with the rules?" And they always say to Canada, "You must repeal Section 43 because you signed on saying you supported." The UN Convention, and yet you're still allowing your people to hit their children. It's not acceptable. Kathy 强调，废除刑事法第四十三条，并唔代表唔能够管教小孩。佢认为管教喺育儿方面仍然系相当重要，但就唔应该用体罚嘅方式。More and more parents have decided not to hit kids. That that's that's true. The culture is shifting. And what we need to do is just get rid of 43 to bring the Criminal Code of Canada up to date for all the parents. But the and the reality is there is never a time when you have to hit kids ever. 其实我哋都知道体罚并非系管教孩子嘅最好方式。不过反对废除该法例嘅团体就认为，一旦消除咗有关法例，将会严重影响到家庭体系。咁究竟佢哋有边一啲嘅担忧咧？休息翻嚟，我哋再睇。